Hello random person, Sabnino here, welcome to another Sab Talk. This one is going to be very interesting, mostly due to the comments themselves. A lot of you have asked very interesting questions, and I can't wait to answer them. So, why the hell are we waiting? Let's get into this. Gion's Life says, how do you put SPONGEBOB in your video without getting blocked by VIACOM? There's a few methods of getting around Viacom that I've noticed. When you post a still image of SpongeBob SquarePants, there's usually no problem there. Footage from episodes is a little tricky, so sometimes I have to work around certain ways. Putting clips and footage into my videos have been becoming less and less now that I'm monetized. Video games I've noticed are usually fine, however the main thing to worry about is music. Due to this, the most popular video on my channel, the Spongebob Reanimated thing, I cannot make money from at all because I use licensed music. Jamison10 says, So, your Spongebob videos are going to attract a lot of kids, so is your channel meant for kids? Because if not, I'm still going to watch your channel if not. I'm surprised nobody asked this question beforehand. My channel is unrated. Which means some of my videos are appropriate for kids, while some of them aren't. And even with that said, most of my quote unquote kids content, I try to aim for general audiences. So adults can watch them too and not want to blow their brains out. In terms of the Spongebob thing, seems like that demographic is pretty split in terms of age range. I've noticed the Spongebob enthusiasts on the channel are either kids or adult enthusiasts like myself. So I don't really have any specific demographic in mind for those. And usually if there's a video that is like really not child friendly, I'm gonna do my best to give a warning. With another Random Day episode, I tried putting a little TV-14 at the beginning to kind of indicate, hey, there's some things that might not be suitable for younger audiences. My channel is unrated, so be careful. If there's a video that you feel like needs a warning, I'll put a little thing in the title. Thank you for the question. Eliza Horenda says, maybe you should make your channel SpongeBob again. I could do that, because if I did that, I would be filthy rich, and monetization would be through the roof, but there's a really big reason on why I'm not making my channel 100% Spongebob related. It lacks variety. I feel like if I just post the same thing 24-7, even if it gives me a ton of views, it will get old, and people will stop being interested. Also, it's never a good idea to base your channel around one specific show. Because once that show ends, your channel dies. Unless you adapt and do something new with it. And even though it's hard to think about now, there will probably come a day where Spongebob dies. It will get cancelled at one point. And sure, there's spin-offs and possibly a ton of reboots in the future, but no matter how long a show lasts, eventually it will end. And personally, I don't want my channel to die when that happens. So I want to make more content related to other animated properties. I don't want to be just the Spongebob guy. I want to be the cartoon guy. Also, I have my own stories I want to tell too. If I make my channel 100% Spongebob, I won't be able to do those. If my channel was all Spongebob, you better kiss another random day, Gami and Marshy, you got game, all the other stuff, even Sab Talk goodbye. I'm not making my entire channel Spongebob again. Jamison10 also says, try making a movie. That's not gonna happen for a good long while. But that doesn't mean I'm not against the idea. I've always thought about adapting my cartoons into movies. I always thought it would be fun, and the only reason why I'm not making it right now is because movies take a lot of hard work. So if I were to randomly decide, hey, I want to make an another random movie, I'm gonna have to halt all other animation projects unless I have a giant team of animators. But I have brainstormed the possibility of movies based off of my cartoons. 
I have thought about in another random movie, I thought about a Gami and Marshi movie. And for all you Spongebob lovers out there, back in the cringy old days, I was trying to make a Spongebob movie. So if any of you guys want me to talk about any of these ideas in a later sap talk, let me know in the comments. I'd love to make an entire video about this. Amaze Games Off says, If you could make a video game out of one of your series, which one? And which genre would it be? This is a general question, does not have to be in a bit or something, lol. Again, I wouldn't mind putting this in a separate sap talk altogether either. But I have thought about, just like with movies, adapting my cartoons into games. You know what? Screw it. I know what I'm gonna do for my next sap talk. I'm gonna do a thing where I talk about movie pitches and video game pitches of my cartoons. I might split it up into two parts, but I think it would be an interesting thing. It would add variety into my content. Thank you, Jamathan10 Zero and Amaze Games, so much for giving me this idea off the bat. And if you guys have any other questions, ideas in general, leave your thoughts in the comments. And it's all set from here.